Do you remember what we talked about yesterday with our strategy to be able to add our doubles? What are three different strategies that we can use to add big numbers? What's one? Okay, very good. So we can add ones and tens. So I can draw a line down the middle and I can add my ones. Two plus nothing is two or one plus three is four and find my answer. Okay. What is another strategy? Absolutely. You could just use your hundreds number chart. We could start at 21 and go three more. So we start here. Do I go down or across? If it's tens, you go down. If it's tens, you go down. If it's ones and across, is three a tens or a ones? A one. So we go across, over. Okay. So let's count. Everyone ready? One, two, three. Did I get the same answer as before? Yes, I did. Or what could I do? You could, um, if there are ten ones, then then you can count all, and or more. You could count ten. Okay, so could I draw a picture to help yeah, me? Very good. So I'm going to draw two tens and one extra one, then three more extras. And then I'm going to count it. Ten. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So my answer is 24. Did I find 24 every with every single strategy that I used? Yes. yes, I did. Does it make sense that 21 plus 3 equals 24? No. Yes, it does. If my answer would have been 88, does that make sense? No. no. Because 21 is a Pretty decent number, isn't it? Because think of if you had 21 cookies. That's quite a bit of cookies. But is three a big number? No. So I know that my answer isn't going to be very far from 21. Okay? Get out your top colorful peach. And for this number problem, I want you to or this story, excuse me, I want you to draw a picture and write your number sentence. You have to listen to my story. The class collects paper bags for an art project. Ron brings seven more bags than Ben. Ben brings 35 bags. How many bags does Ron bring? What did you draw first? Okay, very good. So we drew 35 first. Then what did you draw? I drew 7. Okay. Okay, very good. Did you guys hear what he said? I got a lot of ones. So I'm going to make a 10 to make it easier for me to count to find my answer. What number did we write first or draw first, first grade? 35. So we need 
to write 35. Did we add more or did we take some away? So what goes next? Very good. An addition sign. An addition sign. More plus sign. Then how many did we add? Seven. Now what are we going to write? Equals. Good job. That's very important. So we drew our picture. We wrote our number sentence. Now what do we have to do? Write the answer. Write the answer. Let's count our picture. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. So what's my answer? 42. Very good. Today, first grade, you are going to have some addition or subtraction problems. You need to think of all of your strategies you could use in order to find your sum or your difference to find those answers. I don't care which strategy you choose as long as it gives you the answer. Okay, so just like yesterday, we wrote out what we use, which strategy we use, and so today, you don't have to explain it, but I want you to think about it in your brain. Which strategy am I going to use to help me solve this problem? 